This sketchbook here is the outcome of my first module on exchange. It was an eight week project on future cities and speculation. I have some stickers from back home and Rotterdam on the front. I started off with a map of the city as I just moved here and a reflection on my first day, some notes on the brief, as well as my new room. The very next day we had a trip to Eindhoven and we went to the future sit the retro future exhibition. This was incredibly cool. I took the um, brochure from it and did some sketches about future cities and some um, some more speculation, and then developed one of these sketches further. We then had a lesson on mural design, and we had to design a mural from a place that we felt could benefit from it, and I chose to do one in Bristol. All about the history of Redcliffe in the area that I'd lived previously. This is then for a theory lesson. And some notes from my introduction to exchange. It's just some sketches. And then the first exhibition that I went to while I was here um, without my course. And this was to Rotterdam Arts Weeks Brutus. This was then a walking tour that I did later this week. We then had a class about the practical implications of AI within our artwork and how we can use it as a tool rather than completing it against it. And this is a drawing task we had to do for that. I have some more sketches and some note taking from the lessons. And this was another exercise where we had to choose a discipline that we liked and think about um, how it had been used in the past and the present. This is another theory class and some ideas for a group project within that theory class. Um, these are then some sketches uh, for a practical class the next day where we had to think about items we draw a lot and items we never draw and think about the reasons for this. We then did some prompt making um, and prompts to get us unstuck and to draw more. We shared the techniques we had and all made this spinning wheel. <laughs> it does work, it did work better before I stuck it down. Um, from this spinning wheel, we spun them in pairs and we came up with some um, speculative projects that we then had to spend the next few works on it, the next few weeks working on it. So we had to make a plan of action for our project and I chose to use ceramics. I did some stop motion videos about the development of cities and then created some tiles. This is an a introduction, some notes on hand tufting in the fabric station. And this was some notes on the history of the terracotta and pottery industry. And I started thinking about how I could integrate that with, into um, my uh, ceramics and thinking about how cities develop. I then went on a trip to the Kirkston Mallee Museum. I think this is my favourite one in Rotterdam. This was a really beautiful exhibition that I saw while there about the government tax letters and you could get free admission into the museum at the time if you brought one of them with you. I also had a lesson in VR drawing and I used my sketch right from the beginning from the Retro Future exhibition and it aimed to draw this in 3D. It didn't really work because I didn't understand the program enough but I still really liked the outcome. Um, I also used this for laser printing and I created an unsolvable puzzle thinking about all of the infinite ways that cities can develop in the future. This is me tracing around the shapes and just having a little doodle and some photographs of the final piece. These are my transparents that I used for screen print and here is the final piece. I then had a theory class where I took some notes the ideas of prototyping and the importance of um, practicing before you create final pieces. These are my outcomes from a prototyping workshop where I spent most of my day collaging.
had a lot of fun with this one. And then this was an uh, alumni from the course who came back to speak to us about um, how we could break into the industry. That evening, I then went to the Het New Institute, um, another one of the galleries that I really love in uh, Rostam. And while I was there, I bought my museum card. This has ended up saving me so much money since being here. Will then came to visit and we went to Amsterdam to the Risk Museum. This is my first time trying painting in this book, which I don't do much of because the paper is so thin. We met Jemima and went to the Ducock Cafe that her tutors had recommended to try their apple pie. And my blue envelope finally came, came through with my BSN number, so I was able to create a piece of work with it. And I made this lovely collage that I, I still really love. Um, and then I sketched out a design and some planning for my fish dress and stuck this in because I thought it was still very cool. Um, this is a page from a trip I then took with my flatmates and went back to Amsterdam. This was the Modern Art Museum. I found this lovely textiles piece while I was there and I just thought it was so gorgeous. I sketched a section of it. Here I have some of the bits I picked up from the museum night. I went to, I believe, seven galleries that evening, but I'll have to check. <laughs> I have been back to a majority of them since. I then had a textiles um, station skill where I created this little badge. And here is a 3D coat workshop. This is my um, idea development for UE Agency. And this is the outcome from the 3D coat lesson. This is from a theory class, thinking about how we can expand our product ideas further. And these are some notes about how I would be handing in my work. This is a theory class. And some more notes from the theory classes. And UE Agency again. This, these pages are from a workshop that I did of an evening. Um, about making your own notebook. I've started filling the notebook that I made in this class, um, but it's very poorly bound, so I can't really take it anywhere. It has to be a stationary notebook. Um, but this was all about paper types and how your tools can help you work if they're the right fit for you. This is some more UE agency idea generation. This was the last class we had before hand in where we talked again about how we'd be handing in our work, but also had to reflect on our talents, what we'd gain from it and what we wanted to do next. We had to think about where we'd be in five years and discuss some artists that inspired us as a class. I then went to a lesson in spinning wheels and we had to create a illustration task um, of ourselves and then ourselves in five years time and reflect on um, where we felt we'd be in five years time. This was then in Den Haag, I went to some museums. And finally, this is some notes from my theory presentation.
This is a sewing machine induction. Oh. And then this is the work I then created from the sewing machine induction. I then volunteered at Art Central Rotterdam and took part in a lot of the exhibitions there. These are some of the doodles I did while I was at the um, volunteering. And then went to Brussels with Jemima and had to then submit this sketchbook so I couldn't work in it for a few days. Um, but my work did continue on to my next sketchbook. We didn't have a final piece for this project as they wanted to focus more on the process of, the process of developing work, but I really enjoyed it. We didn't actually have a final piece for this project, so it does feel a little bit inconclusive, but I did bring a lot of the concepts that I worked on during this project into future pieces of work.